one star shines brighter than the rest. Red Carpet Talk. We bring the red carpet to you. Jamie Grace. Jamie, thank you so much for being here today. How does it feel to be in Oregon right now? It feels good. Um, last time I was here, it was a tour I was on and we all planned a couple extra days to hang out with friends and siblings and I got sick. So it's good to be in Portland and feel better and now have a better idea of what Portland's like. Because I was really mad last time I was here, so I'm happy today. Well, it's supposed to be about 85 today, so hopefully the, the good weather will put you in a you know cheerful mood yeah. and, and all the fans. There's so many fans out there already, so I that's know, amazing. Yeah. It's crazy. You know, Adam Kappa is on stage now and he's got a great crowd, got them all singing along to his songs and so it's, yeah, it's it's been a good day, good day so far, good morning, good early afternoon, so it's going to be good. Well, I've heard that you kind of became a big sensation on YouTube, and then from there you got discovered by the Toby Mac. How <laughs> awesome is that? I mean, what went through your head when you heard from him and his you know, his crew. Yeah, well, it was about five years into my YouTube videos and my thought process was this when I first got the message. He sent me a message on Twitter. My thought process was, who in the world is texting me this early in the morning? I'm gonna beat them up. My second thought was, oh my gosh, my friends are awful. This is not really Toby, they're playing a prank. And then it was, oh my gosh, this is Toby, what is my life? And then um, from there, he contacted my manager and we met with him in Nashville. And it was just really cool because I've been, I'm, I've been a huge Toby Mac DC Talk fan my whole life. And so it was really cool to see, wow, he's the same guy in person that he is like on stage. Like he loves God, he loves his family, and he's all about music and ministry. And so it was really cool to connect with him. And then he signed me to his label, Go To Records. And then he uh, jokingly sang on Hold Me, and then we liked it and we kept it. And um, so, yeah, the last couple years have just been awesome and amazing. And I'm really excited to work with him and to the other artists and producers I've gotten to work with as well. It's been amazing. Now you've had some pretty big testimonies going on in your life. I believe when you were just born, right? You got diagnosed with uh, TS. Yeah. And how does that how does that kind of compare with going on stage singing? Is it more of an outlet for you? Yeah, it, it definitely is. I mean, my whole life, I've definitely had um, struggles and things like that. When I was like really small, big before I was even born, they told my parents that my mom had one of those like psychotic pregnancy things, and that I wasn't really there. And then, um, like after I was born, I had like pneumonia seven times before I was two. And then Tourette came about when I was eleven, and all these different like ever since I was born, I've had so many different challenges. And my family has faced these challenges, but they've stayed strong. My sisters stayed strong, and they've shown me what true love is like, and they show me what it looks like to trust God even in the hard times and I didn't always have that excitement of trusting God in the hard times but at like 13 14 I just kind of decided you know what I've got to find hope I've got to find joy I found it in Jesus I found it in my family and um, ever since then I just haven't looked back it's not that life isn't perfect today but like you said you know when I play my drums when I'm on stage it goes away and I just feel so much better about everything that's going on. And I'm like, okay, I can do this. Like, yeah, I twitch, but I play drums. That's cool. <laughs> How does it feel being 20 years old and winning a Dove Award? <laughs> that was insane. I mean, when they, we, we were, I like, can't even talk. My parents and I went to the Doves together. My sister and her husband wanted to go, but they're missionaries and they were in Macedonia of all places and so we were sitting there and they were saying off all the nominees and not that I was being negative but I knew I wasn't gonna win I was just like there's no way like God has already let me be nominated that's always always been one of my biggest dreams since I was 10 years old it's like there's no way that I'm gonna actually win so I put on my heels because um, you know I don't walk in high heels I just put them on to look cute and then when I walk I take them off so I put on my heels I put my lip gloss away I always have lip gloss so I was not expecting to win and then when they said my name I broke down in tears and on television it's edited but it took me about 30 seconds before I actually stood up because I, I did not I didn't know what to do like with my limbs I didn't know how to process that I was actually getting to walk on that stage and make a speech and I, I was actually getting to become like a real artist and I mean that was just really cool I mean no, no matter if I'm playing for a bajillion people or five people I'm always gonna be you know doing this because I always want to make people smile and to give God back the gift that he's given me but um, 
at the same time, like people like Jeremy Camp, who was who won that award a couple years ago. Um, like he's one of my role models. Like he's he's kept an amazing career and he has a great family and that's who he puts first and then his ministry and so to get to be considered an artist like him, to get to be considered in the same like group as Natalie Grant and Toby Mac and Out of Eden, I'm like, what? Like I'm actually an artist? Okay, cool, thanks. <laughs> hey, this is Jamie Grace and you're watching Red Carpet Talk. For all the latest from Hollywood, check back often to www.redcarpettalk.com.